Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Pygame for Python on Windows. So this is Windows 10 right now. This will work in Windows 8, but if you're using an earlier version of Windows, so Windows 7 or Windows XP, you're going to have to find a different tutorial for this uh, because some of the things I do aren't going to work in that version. Okay, so let's get started right away. Um, the first thing we need to do, if we haven't done so already, is download Python. So I assume most of you already have Python downloaded, but if you don't, just go ahead, head over to the Python website, slash downloads, and then download Python 3.6.3, or whatever the latest version is when you're doing this tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this, and we'll go through it here. So now that this is loaded up, if you haven't already installed Python, you're just going to want to make sure you click on this check button here. It says add Python 3.6 to path. Now this is really important and this is going to save you a lot of time later on if you do this, if you add it to the path. Okay. Otherwise, if when you install that you didn't add it to the path, I'm going to show you guys how you can edit the path and you can add it in so you're going to be able to do what I show you next. Okay. So I actually already have this installed. So I'm not going to install it here, but if you don't, then just go ahead and click install now. It's very simple and you can go through the process. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to show you how we can install a Pi game. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our command prompt. So this is our first test just to see if this works. Uh, and if this doesn't work, then I'll show you the next step later. So we're just going to start by typing pip, so PIP. Uh, now you should see something like this come up. If you don't, don't worry. Just wait uh, a little bit later. And I'm going to show you how we can get this to work. So if this didn't work for you, you might get some an error that says pip is not a recognized command on Windows or something like that. Um, and I'll show you how we can how we can fix that. So now if this worked for you, what you get have all you have to do now to install a Pi game is pip install Pi game just like this. Uh, and pip is pretty much package installer for Python, uh, and it's built into Python if you added that to the path. So if you do that, pip install pygame, then it should start collecting everything and installing it. So here we go, it says it installed pygame correctly. So now I'm just going to uninstall, uh, just so I can show everyone else how to do it properly. Okay, so if that didn't work for you, don't worry. If it did work for you, you can just click off the video now. Um, and it should, uh, everything should be working in Pygame. All right, so now let's say that didn't work. Um, that pretty much just means that the path for Python is actually not in your uh, environmental variables. So what we need to do is we need to get to those environmental variables. So a way to do that is to just simply go to control panel. So you can just search that in the bottom here, control panel, load that up here, and we're gonna click on system and security. We're gonna click on system again, and then advanced system settings on the left side here. And now once that comes up, you should be on the advanced tab and you're just gonna click on environmental variables right here. All right, so now we're gonna scroll down until you see something that says path. So here you can see if I drag my window out, mine's pretty long. That's just cause I have three different paths. Um, now yours is probably only gonna have one thing in it. Uh, it's probably just going to have this Windows apps uh, path. It's not going to have the Python path if that other thing didn't work for you. So now we want to change this because we want to add something to this path. So you're just going to click on edit and it's going to come up and it's going to show you these three different paths right here. Now you may have one, you may not have any. So let's say you don't have any of them here. Then what you need to do is you need to make a new path by just clicking on new and simply calling it path like that. And then you can type in the directory, which I will show you in this next step. Okay, so say we have this path already, we click edit, uh, and now you have one thing in here. What we need to do is we need to add the location of where your Python is saved on your computer. So you should know where it's saved. Um, this is the default location where I have it. So in app data, local programs, Python, and then Python 36, um, that's where my Python is saved. If you don't know where yours is, you can just go to Windows Explorer here and just search uh, throughout your whole C drive for it. It might take a second depending on how fast your drive is. So you can just search Python like that and just wait for it to load up. Uh, it is going to take a minute, but it will show you where the Python directory is so that you can type that into the path like that. All right. So now that we know where our Python directory is, all we have to do is click new. And then you can simply type it in. So for example, I already have mine here, but you do C drive slash users slash, and then so on filling in your Python path so that it should end like this with Python and then Python 36. So I'm just going to delete that one because I don't need that. 
All right, so once you've done that, now you're going to type the exact same path again. So you're going to click new and you're going to do the exact same path you just typed in, which would be this one here, except you're going to do slash scripts and then another slash at the end. So this is just so that we can use the Python package installer um, and you have access to Python. So you have two different paths which are going to be in your command prompt. Okay, so again, I'll just go over that quickly because we went kind of fast. All you need to do is find the location of your Python, so the directory on your C drive, D drive, wherever it is. Um, type that in, so you just click new, like that, and type it here. And then you're going to do the exact same path, except you're just going to add scripts to the end, and you're going to hit new again when you do that. So you have two separate paths, and they should look something like the two I have up here right now. Once you've done that, you're going to click OK, and OK again at the bottom. And now we're going to go back to our command prompt to make sure that this all works. So now you can go to command prompt and we'll do the exact same steps I showed before. You just type pip install pygame like so. It should grab it and install it and it doesn't take very long, just like that. Now if you want to verify that your thing is actually working, your pygame is working, you can go ahead and open up IDLE, uh, which is Python, which you just installed. Wait for that to load up. So I got mine over here. And then all you have to do is just type import pygame like so. And if you don't get an error message, that means everything's working and you successfully installed pygame. All right, so that has been this video for today. I know a lot of people have been having trouble installing pygame. Um, they think they have to go to the website to download the wheel file. Um, you may have to do that, but if you followed everything I did in this tutorial, it should work for you. And if you're having trouble adding the things to the path, you can always just reinstall Python and click add to path uh, and it'll do it automatically for you. So you don't have to go through that whole process. All right. So if you liked the video and it helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you again in another.